Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 165 to 166. <sighs> Due to Webtoon's policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will get taken down. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my reads without any censorship and any blurs and you guys also gain early access. It's all available on patreon.com slash slash ckt chaotic whoo i had a long day at work and so i'm sorry i'm gonna be slurring just a bit Whew. here we go it's been a while i don't remember what happened last oh uh. <laughs> Uh, how long have you been watching me sleep? Huh? I wasn't watching you sleep. I just woke up. Right. <laughs> I guess I was deep in thought. It just so happened I was looking at you. That's all. No big deal. Thank you for worrying, Kate. But I am okay. Like I have said a thousand times. I can't help but worry. You've been a little different lately. I... I have been thinking about our kiss a lot. Uh-uh. I get very flustered thinking back to it. It has been heavy on my conscience. Same here. I am happy to not feel alone in that aspect. Oh. <laughs> I will miss you. When I return to Susie's? Oh, why must you torture us this way? Oh, even I am thirsty. <clears throat> oh, his conscious. <laughs> What about that dream you had? It was a horrible dream, but it's become very fuzzy now. I do not remember details. Thank the universe. <laughs> Welp? Want breakfast? Pancakes? Man, they love pancakes, okay? Every time for breakfast is either cereal or pancakes. There's the day I remember. <laughs> Zeta, it feels like it's been forever. Susie, you're here. <laughs> yeah. Sis went, to the, uh, yeah. Sis went to a hair salon and I thought I'll get my ends trimmed. Does it not fit my face? Huh? It does. It's so beautiful. It definitely feels better. It looks great. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> that that must be Ethan. It's the gang. Oh. oh, I miss you all. I've been so busy with my studies. I haven't seen Zeta or Kate since the th the theme the the convention. <laughs> Uh, Chinese takeout? Yes, food, please. So, what all did I miss out on? Nothing new for me, sadly. Been playing a lot of uh, RSC, though. And Zeta, I saw your sudden break update on Instabam. What's that about? I wanted more time for art. That's all? That's all? That's what I thought. What about you guys? What did we miss out on? Let's see. Me and my sis went to the beach and a salon and we did mud baths and lots of other stuff. Oh, I almost forgot. A classmate of mine had his birthday party last night. It was a blast. 
birthday party. You know, balloons, cakes, gifts, and friends. Mm. Wait a sec. You've never experienced a birthday party? No. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. Is it that surprising? From what she's told us of Zodia, it doesn't sound like they enjoy fun. But, well, that's changing soon. Oh, because I'm throwing Zeta a birthday party. Oh, man. Oh, look at the chibis. Get yours today, makeshift.com. Look hard. They actually made plushies. That's so cool. Okay, next next episode. Okay. They're doing each other nails. Ooh. I love this color. Thank you, Susie. I think I'll match with you. I'm also loving this color. Although, I don't know how well it will suit me. Why would it not? I think anyone can pull off any color they want. As long as they love it. Who cares what anyone thinks? Inspired. <laughs> Doing it. Let me know if you need assistance. By the way, what time you called me? Uh, that time you called me, you asked me if two people kiss are... They dating? You said it, it was about a movie. It was about Cade, wasn't it? Huh? Oh, well, um, I suppose it's quite obvious, is it now? Is it not? Oh, yeah. You guys reaped attention during our get together last night. Purposely bumping shoulders, the gazing at each other. P U stinky. <laughs> We're not smelling. I actually wanted to talk to you about this. But you were with your sister. I did not want to bother you. I'm honored you wanted my advice. Ah, let's talk about it now. I'm all ears. I am in love with Kate. <laughs> Hold up. Like, legit? I thought that was just a kiss in the heat of the moment thing. I feel like it's more than that. Are you sure? you saying you're in love. You know what that means, right? That's a serious statement. I know. It's what I feel towards Cade, no one else. And with, and with him, Cade of all people? You poor, sweet, innocent alien. What do you even see in him? He's such a perv. I do not dislike that about Cade. In fact, I think I enjoy that about him. You're both perverts. It's a perfect match. Great. <laughs> Please do not feel sound so uncomfortable. Don't worry. I'm very happy for you. You're discovering what you like on Earth. That has to be so exciting. I would still appreciate friendly advice, if I may. Of course. I'm here for you no matter what. You are the best, Susie. <sighs> it would help if I had more context, though. Can you run me through the entire kiss? Uh oh How would you... How... Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Gee. Whoa. I won't lie. I forgot you could do that. That makes this a lot easier. Yes, it is very convenient. Wow, you guys went through a lot at the theme park. And so much emotional panic and on your end. I worried he would not share the same feelings as me. From what I saw, you both feel the same for sure. But he's too worried to make it move so soon. He's worried if you guys move forward, he will ruin the relationship. Honestly, that's very mature of Cade. It's a smart move. He's being patient for the health of the relationship. 
So do I have nothing to worry about? We will get together? Well, I can't see the future, but I think waiting it out is a good idea. Okay. I just do not like the wait. But you're right. Kate's doing this for us. Just be patient. <laughs> I don't want your heart to get heart getting broke. Yes, I will. How about we finish the homework Ethan gave to us? Ah, yes. People I want to be at my birthday party. Hmm. I recommend closest friends for your first party. Let's see. Cosmo and Cade for sure. You and Ethan, Cherry. Perfect list. Oh, and Stace. Uh-huh. Huh? Stace. Is there something else I missed? Okay, so that is the end for those two chapters that we just read. But I totally, I totally forgot. She was not around when Zay and Stace got close as friends. But still, on my side, I still feel like Stace is a little bit of a weirdo. But maybe it will change in the future. Who knows, you know? Hmm. How? What do you guys think? All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!